Hi, this is Anthony from a short storm protection. The reason for this video I'm doing it in my backyard is because of COVID-19. Uh, our showroom's closed and obviously we can't allow anybody in there, but we are a contractor and we're allowed to operate. And some of our customers are ugly people and don't want any contact at all, which is a good idea nowadays. So I just want to go over some of the basic features of the shutters that we carry. We carry three different types. This is a Supernova. This is our most popular type. Uh, that's why I'm only showing this one at this point. Uh, this is what 98% of our customers pick anyway. The reason being, let me turn this around and I'll show you the front of it and then I'll come back to the back. All shutters go through the same exact test so you understand. There is no such thing as a stronger shutter. Of course, customers want to come in. Uh, uh, you know, when salesmen come in, they want to tell you their shutter is the best, their shutter is the strongest. It's just not true. Okay? They have a standardized test, they take two by fours and they shoot them out of the cannon at 50 miles an hour. 180 mile an hour winds at three second intervals. 6,000 pounds a cycle, you either pass or you fail. Okay? The only differences between shutters are the little difference in style because of patent infringement. They had to make them a little different, otherwise, they infringe in somebody's patent. Okay, the Supernova shutter is all aluminum, six cents of strength, baked on powder paint. Okay, we have a rain guard on top, which some companies do not use. Okay? The reason why we have the rain guard is there's no gap in between from, from me here, otherwise you have a three inch gap. We use rods that go up. Okay, the reason why we have the rods added a little extra strength and less damage to the shutter on impact. So if something hits it, it has to break the rod before it breaks the wheels inside. As you see right here clearly, we have an option for, this is polycarbonate, the same stuff that bulletproof glass is made out of. It's very clear so you can see right through it. The reason why we have that on, so you get a light in the house, you're not in a complete dark. We give you two at no charge. If you want more, they're available at an extra charge. Okay? When these here stack, they stack completely flush. Okay? So they're not bulky looking on the side and they take up less spot, uh, less space. Okay? When you close these, they're very easy to close. All you do is pull one side over, you take the other side, you take out the key. This is a double tongue and groove on, on the center mate. All you have to do is slide one of these in, and it goes into the slot here, and, and the slot on the other side. So all you have to do is take it here, close it, squeeze it, and you push in the button. It's that simple to do. Storm's over, take your key. This is one key for all. Okay, we give you about 10 keys, so you have extra keys. And then you turn around, you put the key in, you open it up, and you lock it without the key. We also give you a cap, which you can put the cap on. This, the cap is nice, it helps prevent the, any oxidation or rusting of the lock and all, all the debris getting inside. Now, on one of your sliders in the back of the house, if you have a slider, what we do is we can turn around and we have a lock here, and we just have a lock, all you do is press the lock in, Storm's over, you can go from inside your house, open it out from the inside. This way you have a way out of your house. Okay. Also, one more thing I want to point out, which a lot of companies don't do. We have, on the end of the shutter, we use a closure channel. It's a little heavier, a little thicker material. And the same rod that we use on, on the whole shutter, it goes through the slot here. This way you don't have to have all the screws coming down, which a lot of companies use on the angle. Okay, so you want to find out are they using an angle or they're using a closure channel. And I'll show you the difference because on my house, which I'm in my backyard right now, when we bought the house, the builder did the second floor, it came with the house. The first floor, of course, we had our company do. And I'll show you the difference between the angle and what the screws on an angle will look like and what a sentiment will look like. On the first floor, you see here, we did this here. Here's the shutters, they have a nice a nice center mate on either side with just two screws on top, two on bottom, so you don't see everything, all screws coming down. Plus, everything's corked. That's very important to cork everything. On the second floor, we'll try to zoom in there and you can see they use angles. And on the angles, you have all the screws. Okay, on, on the right hand side, they put the screws in, which is the right way to do it. The other side, they put the screws the other way, which uh, if that was down here, if a kid's playing around it, it can easily get cut. Okay, so this is the difference on what an angle and closed channel looks like. Again, Anthony from Assure Storm Protection. Any questions, please give me a call. 
if you want, when we come out, I do have in the truck I can show you as long as we keep our distance and I will wear a mask and gloves. Any questions, give me a call. Otherwise, please stay safe. Have a good day.